हेलो एंड वेलकम यू ऑल फ्रेंड्स टुडे लेट अस स्टार्ट विद जे एडवांस 2018 पेपर टू फिजिक्स आर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज ए पार्टिकल ऑफ मास एम इज इनिशियली एट रेस्ट एट द ओरिजिन इट इज सब्जेक्टेड टू ए फोर्स एंड स्टार्ट्स मूविंग अलोंग द एक्स एक्सिस द कैनेटिक एनर्जी के चेंजेस विद टाइम एज डी के डिवाइड बाई डी टी इक्वल्स गामा टी वेर गामा इज ए पॉजिटिव कॉन्स्टेंट ऑफ एप्रोप्रिएट डायमेंशंस विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स इज और आर ट्रू स्टेटमेंट ए द फोर्स एप्लाइड ऑन द पार्टिकल इज अ कॉन्स्टेंट स्टेटमेंट बी द स्पीड ऑफ द पार्टिकल इज प्रपोर्शनल टू टाइम स्टेटमेंट सी द डिस्टेंस ऑफ द पार्टिकल फ्रॉम द ओरिजिन इंक्रीजेज लीनियरली विद टाइम एंड स्टेटमेंट डी द फोर्स इज कंजर्वेटिव इट्स अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड चैलेंजिंग प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम वर्क पावर एंड एनर्जी एंड हैव वन और मोर देन वन स्टेटमेंट्स करेक्ट before going further please press the subscribe button and don't forget to press the bell icon to receive the notification of all my future videos let us now examine the question given the kinetic energy of the particle changes with time as dk by dt equals gamma t where gamma is a constant using kinetic energy k equals half mv square we get dk by dt equals mv into dv by dt which equals gamma t or v dv equals gamma by m into t dt integrating both sides we get integral of v dv equals gamma divided by m into integral of t dt or v square equals gamma by m into t square plus c since at t equals 0 v equals 0 we get c equals 0 therefore v square equals gamma by m into t square or v equals root of gamma by m into t equation 1 this shows that statement b is correct differentiating statement 1 with respect to time we get acceleration a equals dv by dt equals root of gamma divided by m or force f equals m into a equals root of gamma into m equals constant therefore statement a is also correct now using equation 1 we get ds by dt equals root of gamma divided by m into t or ds equals root of gamma by m into t dt integrating both sides we get integral of ds equals root of gamma by m into integral of t dt or s equals root of gamma by m into t square divided by 2 plus c dash where c dash is the constant of integration since at t equals 0 the displacement s equals 0 this gives c dash equals 0 or s equals half into root of gamma by m into t square that shows displacement s or the distance covered by the particle is proportional to t square hence the statement c is false let us now examine statement d a force is said to be conservative if the work done by the force is converted entirely into recoverable energy like potential energy or kinetic energy else it is not conservative let us now find out the work done by the force during any time t w equals f into s equals root of m gamma into half into root of gamma divided by m into t square or w equals half into gamma t square also given dk divided by dt equals gamma t or dk equals gamma t dt 
integrating both sides we get kinetic energy k equals half gamma t square plus c double dash since at t equals 0 kinetic energy is 0 so we get c double dash equals 0 or kinetic energy k equals half gamma t square we can see for sure that work done by the force comma w equals the increase in kinetic energy k and hence the force f is conservative in nature hence statement d is also correct in nutshell the statements a b and d are correct and statement c is not correct i hope you enjoyed this question please note in this question we have used indefinite integration thrice but have not used definite integration most people understand that the only difference between indefinite integration and definite integration is that of limits which however is not true mathematically they may appear to be the same but there is a huge difference between the two in the past 40 years of my teaching career i could hardly find a person which could tell me the difference between indefinite and definite integration so i have decided to make a separate video to make you understand the difference between these two kind of integrations point 2 99 percent students do not understand the difference between conservative and non-conservative forces what really they know is that conservative forces are independent of path whereas the non-conservative forces are dependent upon path which again is not correct and i will make a separate video for the same for you to understand the difference between conservative and non-conservative forces keep watching my videos and keep learning physics in case you have any doubts or difficulties please write to me in the comment box and i will reply back to your problems do not forget to comment like share and subscribe this channel and do visit us again for our next question till then enjoy learning